Hi everyone, Jens here with Hockey Tutorial and today we are going to talk about how to clean and grease your bearings using WD-40. So instead of using speed gel in the traditional method, I wanted to show you an alternative that is readily available to most people all around the world. So let's take a look at what we need. So here are all the things that we need to clean our bearings. First of all, I got a few paper towels. I've got my lubricant. In this instance, I'm going to use the WD-40. I'll explain a little bit later on why and what the, uh, the pros and the cons are of that. Got something to dab the bearings on or to place the bearings on to lubricate them so I don't mess up the table. And obviously, as you can tell, I've got my wheels with extremely dirty bearings, especially for you guys to show in this video. And last but not least, we've got our screwdriver bearing pushing tool that we're going to use to take the bearings out of the wheels. So here we go. All right, so first off, I'm going to take the wheel and push out the bearing. There we go. And push out the other one. So we can put this aside. And you can already tell, the spacer, I'm going to put it on the side. You can already tell how dirty it is. So I'm going to take a, pit, a paper towel and start cleaning it, just taking off the dirt and the grease and whatnot here. And you'll see there's a lot coming off. If you maintain your bearings, if you clean them and lubricate them, once every two weeks you won't have this. Obviously this has been a long time coming. This is four to five weeks of dirt all packed up in here. So this is the inside of the bearing. One important piece of advice is there's no need to actually open up the bearing. And with that I mean right here, this is the outer part of the bearing. This is the inner part of the bearing where you can actually see the balls. There's no need to take the plastic cover out and to do something with uh, the balls on the inside. Once you do that, you might as well throw them in the garbage can because most people, I didn't say all people, but most people won't be able to put it back the way it belongs. So I'll leave that over to the pros and the factories. And uh, let's just clean the outside. Here we go. It's, it's quite clean. Look at all the dirt that came off. It's actually uh, not very good. All right, next step. Clean your hands. Take the WD-40. I make sure I put my extension into the nozzle. There we go. Now what you want to do is you want to put the bearing on the back, put it on the plate or on a piece of paper, whatever you want, so that you're actually looking at the balls. And then you want to spray a generous amount of WD-40 into the bearing. Now the one drawback with WD-40 is the, the, the pro rather is that it's very easy to use. You can buy it pretty much anywhere, whether it be in Europe and North America or in other continents. The drawback is that it's not a long lasting lubrication, which means that if you're gonna do it this way, because this is one of many ways, you're, you are actually gonna have to do this once every two weeks, uh, perhaps shorter than that or faster than that, depending on the amount of times that you skate and the surface that you skate on, if there's a lot of dust, a lot of dirt, if it's outside, if it's inside. Um, there are a lot of companies that offer speed gels. Some of them are very good. And the pro for the speed gel is that you can actually go a lot longer with the lubrication. But in this instance, I wanted to show you guys something that is pretty much available anywhere, which is this type of lubricant. It's also a cleaner. So up next, Take a paper towel, and I'm actually just going to turn over, oh, you can already see the dirt. I'm going to turn over the bearing, just let the lubrication come out. But as you can tell here, it's quite dirty. 
which is perfect to show in this video. What we're going to do next is we're going to take the bearing and properly dry it with a paper towel. Then we're going to just take it between our two fingers and let it spin. And make sure that all the balls are properly lubricated. There's no excessive lubrication coming out. There we go. Looks good, sounds good. You can actually tell the difference. So I'm going to put this one aside. Same one here. Dry it first with the paper towel. Put it between our two fingers. Spin it a few times and make sure the lubrication is around all of the different balls. There we go. And before we're going to put it back in, I always want to make sure that the spacer is also clean. Um, it's oftentimes a part that is forgotten simply because other than keeping the bearings in place, it doesn't have that much of a function. And we also want to clean the wheels. Now, if you really wanted to, you could actually put the wheels, um, dab them with a bit of water or a little bit of soap, clean them. But here we go, I'm gonna put the spacer in. It's great. Push it in, push the bearing back into its place. And there we have it spinning like it is new. So a quite fast way to do this, and like I said, I wanted to do this video with the WD-40. Why? Because WD-40 is available in most countries in the world, which means that a lot of people can actually go to the store and try this at home rather than to having to wait for the speed gel to arrive. However, that being said, speed gel is a fantastic product, and we will definitely do a video on that sometime later on. All right, so there we have it. A quick way for everybody to be able to clean and grease their bangs. And you can actually tell the difference. This is the cleaned one and this is obviously the dirty one. So we have a lot more work to do. If you guys wanna see more of this inline content, please make sure to click the subscribe button below and to follow us on all of our social media networks. On the right hand side, you've got your typical ice hockey skate. So let's start with the ice hockey skate. It's set up in three parts. You've got the boot, you've got the holder, and you've got the blade. Similar for inline hockey is that the boot is the exact same boot as what would be used for ice hockey. The difference lays in the fact that we don't have a holder, but we have a chassis